A family is still waiting to find out when a former reserve deputy and EMT will go on trial for causing a wrong way crash that killed a man in 2018. There have been several delays in the case, and our Michelle Heron has the story. Next week marks three years since James Brumlow was killed in a wrong way crash in Saudi Daisy. The case is still moving through the criminal court system, something Brumlow's family says makes it harder to grieve his death every day. Confusion struck before Wednesday's hearing when James Brumlow's family, the victims in this case, say an online docket showed a settlement was scheduled instead of a status hearing. So when we see that, we come down here thinking we're fixing to get blindsided in court with, hey, guess what? We settled. A settlement did not happen. Instead, the prosecution and defense met briefly Wednesday to iron out issues before Justin Whaley's trial. The 40 year old is accused of causing a wrong way crash on Highway 111 in Saudi Daisy, killing Brumlow in July 2018. Keisha Gorbsky is Brumlow's younger sister. She has attended every hearing since the crash. James was killed on his way to work. He doesn't get to come here. He doesn't get to say what he lost. He doesn't get to say what happened to him. The only stories that we can tell are ours. The pandemic has caused the wheels of justice to turn even slower, and Gorbsky worries it could hurt their chances of getting justice for her brother. Because he's not getting his speedy trial, but I want people to understand that we didn't get ours either, that that's not our fault. The grief among the Brumlow family is evident. That's James. It's been three years. But that's James. That's who we lost. That's who's gone. And that's who we can't forget about no matter what's happened and how long it's been. But with grief also comes strength. The family agrees they wouldn't be able to get through this time without each other. He would never stop fighting for us. So we'll be here until it's over. I love you guys. <laughs> Both sides will meet back up in the courtroom on September 15th. And of course, we'll continue to follow this closely and let you know what happens. Reporting in Hamilton County, Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.